We've got the ICOM 705 and we've got this new program coming out uh, by PA7LM which is called Doozy where you can basically use it in terminal mode via a mini USB cable. He's done a great job so we should all thank him for that. Um, you can get the ICOM 705 into terminal mode and collect to, connect to most reflectors uh, but you do need the, uh, the cable. I'm just about to uh, install the ICOM driver for the USB cable first and then we'll go step by step through the, the process of getting this ICOM 705 working on Doozy. So we're on the ICOM firmware page. Um, it says here USB driver. So we're going to accept that. Download. And um, we're going to run that. So there's the file. We'll double click it. We'll extract it to... On my desktop I've created a file called ICOM705. There it is there. We'll click OK. Right, go back to the desktop and see what we've got. Oh, nothing. Maybe I never extracted it to that file. Okay, it's there. Remember to hit the word extract. So, 64. Pretty sure this is a 64 <coughs> version. So we're going to run that. United States. Well, we only get United States or Japan, so we're going to go for United States, even though we're in the UK. So hopefully, you can um, connect the, uh, you know, run this first. Don't connect the cable to the radio, the Icon 705. Until you've run this application. So I think we've run it and what I'm going to do just to make sure I'm going to uh, restart the computer just to make sure. Well before I do that look it came up with this welcome to install shield so let's install it first then. I thought we'd already done but obviously not. So Let's give that a minute. Right, we've restarted the laptop. We found the little plug here. Bit dark, but for the mini USB, which we're going to plug in. Right, we've plugged it in. <coughs> See, a red light has come on, orange on the 705. It did come up with a a message on the computer. It said device not installed correctly. So we'll just what we'll do. We'll just check that I've got the right setting on the laptop to allow it to install. Okay, well, second time round, it seems to be doing it better. I just plugged it, took the plug out, the USB, put it back in, and now it looks like it's doing what it should be doing. We've got the orange light on here, on the 705. So let's just let that go right to the end of, there's a list here, as you can see. And then we'll have a look at the uh, downloading the Doozy program. Okay, we're on the um, PA7LIM page for Doozy. PA7LIM.nl slash Doozy slash. So I've never, never done this, so I'm reading it as, as I look at it. 
So accepted cookies there. Showing the cable that we need that goes from the radio. And as it says, you, you can go on to, uh, um, you know, different things on D-Star, D-Star Extra, DCS, XLX. Gives you an idea of what to do. That's the kind of, uh, in, you know, sort of interface you get, that you see. It's like, very much like... Um, TV Mega, all that kind of stuff. So let's find the download. So we're going to hit the link here. Download Doozy from this link. Right, got a few versions here, but someone told me to download the pre version. Must have, you know. Some of the later modifications to it. I'm going to click it and see what happens. Okay, well I didn't work so I uh, I went back to the, the main one and downloaded that. Right, so we're going to give this, extract this file. So we got this file come up. Let's double click it. And let it run. It's going to go next on everything. Let it install. I noticed that the uh, USB driver and everything, that's all installed correctly now. A couple of settings that you'll need to do in the 705. So, menu. Um, let's come out of here. Menu. Go to set. In my station, you'll definitely need to make sure your call sign's in as usual. You'll need that anyway, um, so that's fine. <laughs> then another one is go menu, set, connectors, mod input, see data off mode, make sure that says mic USB. Right, well we've got the doozy shortcut here on the desktop, so let's give that a couple of clicks we've plugged in the, uh, the USB here we're not in terminal mode yet but we've plugged it in so that goes the window the doozy right we're gonna turn these noisy radios off so we're gonna get it into terminal mode We've got the USB connected, so menu, then you go number two, DV gateway, terminal mode. Right, we're in terminal mode, as you can see. Sales says failed to connect, but anyway, let's see what happens. So we've never done this before, ever. So let's... Um, Let's turn this on. Right, we need to find out the serial port that terminal mode's in. So let's find what that serial port is. <coughs> right, well, we're in serial. Uh, we're in the device manager. There's some ports. So it's either going to be eight or nine. I think because it's CIV, it's probably nine. So we'll try both. Right, so we're going to click these little tools here gives me a chance here to put in my call let's do that M0FXB and then let's select number 9 click save we're going to uh See, we're going to click, it says disconnect at the moment, we're going to click connect, and then it says connecting, right, just need to work out how to change to a busy reflector, and to make sure you've got, as you go menu, 
DV gateway and then select gateway select and select external USB B. After selecting the external gateway B, we've now actually connected. So here we are, we selected the correct port. So now let's connect, let's try a reflector. So we'll go reflector. We'll try uh, 30 for now. We'll click connect. Right, we're going to give it another call through. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for an audio check on Zuzi, M0FXB, on Reflector 30C. So Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling into one Charlie for a contact, M0FXB, how's my audio? Yeah, thanks very much for the uh, the comeback. I'm just um, setting up the um, 705 on Doozy to seeing if it works. So yeah, thanks for coming back to me, M0FXB. You coming in loud and clear here in Dallas, Texas. G0 LQP. Yeah, heard you earlier. So been um, messing around. I should have had it sorted in a couple of minutes, but I just forgot that external setting. Back to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that caught me out when I first started using it, because I've been using it in terminal mode um, initially. But it has default is internal on it, so you have to remember to turn the external terminal mode on. Uh, so yeah, you'll send it nice and clear there. <clears throat>